Hello and welcome to my Stamina Necro PvP build video for the high eye patch. I'm going to show you what sets I picked and what I prefer to run on Stamina Necro. Quick look into the character screen. I'm Org. I like Org for the additional damage you get. You get a 1k, I think it's 1k uh, stamina. You yeah, 1k stamina you get, you get 1k health, also really nice, some small heal while you do damage, and you get uh, 260 weapon damage and uh, spell damage, you know, because of the hybrid thing, and uh, reduced sprint cost and increased movement speed of sprint by 10%. You can also pick Nord for more tankiness, Imperial for more sustain, Domner is fine, uh, I think even Wood Elf is fine, just uh, up to you what race you want to pick, even Khajiit. Then for the attributes I have 40 points in health and 24 in stamina to reach like some kind of uh, between 29k and 30k is my threshold for open world builds. So, uh, that the max that's the health I would go. You can of course lower it for more stamina or increase it for less stamina, whatever you prefer. The monos we are running is the shadow. We try to build for some amount of crit, so um, running shadow here is good for uh, our crit damage hitting really really hard. Then obviously we have stage 3 vampire for the undeath passive, just making us super tanky the lower health we are. And the buff food we are using is lava soup for max stamina and stamina region. Potions we are using is uh, usually an open world immovability, which gives us 10 seconds of immovability. Major savagery for the crit chance and then max stamina for sustain and also the major endurance for the 30% more stamina recovery and do it I use normal crit pods because uh, immo pods are kinda cheesy so rather go with it. crit um, yeah backbound we are obviously running the usually escapes poison giving us 4.4 seconds of CC immunity when it procs Really love that poison, uh, especially while kiting. Uh, you do some light and heavy attacks to sustain your stamina, and when it procs, you get just free, free CC immunity, and your target that actually procs the poison will also get immobilized. Coming to our armor sets, the monster set we are running is Barlog, two times in medium, divines, and prismatic enchant. Barlog is one of the best sets for Stamina Necro, uh, giving you really high weapon damage and spell damage and also penetration when you use your ult. And um, yeah, Stamina Necro is a burst class and Barlog is a burst monster set. You can also go with uh, Magma if you want, giving you like a balance between sustain, damage and tankiness, but on Stamina Necro, I actually prefer Barlog. Then the usually uh, One Piece Trainee, Heavy Reinforced Chest, Prismatic Enchant, and on our back bar, we are running Rallying Cry. We have a Light Divine Sash, also Prismatic Enchant. We have two times Infused Jewelry with Weapon Damage Enchant, and a Sturdy Shield, and a Defending Sword. Wendy Cry in general is one of the best PvP sets you can get for uh, proc enabled campaigns, um, giving you good amount of weapon damage and the critical damage. Uh, critical resist 1650 gets it a little bit less the more people you have in your group, but even with five people in group, Wendy Cry is still really, really good. So we are running on our back bar procking it and it carries over to our front bar. Speaking of front bar, here we are running Stone's Favor, um, giving us a huge amount of penetration when we deal damage to an enemy who is off balance. And we are running Dizzy Swing as our main spammable, so we set people off balance quite a lot. 
so you will have a high uptime on stones buff. Also you get the 2 to 4 piece bonus are 2 times weapon damage and 1 times penetration. So uh, students in general offers a lot of damage. I choose Battle Axe here because as I said we are building for some crit damage and Battle Axe will provide 12% more crit damage. Um, yeah, Axe increases critical damage done by 12% it is and 12% is more than your mace or your maul would do. Maul would give you 3300 penetration and eggs would increase your critical damage by 12%. You can of course go for maul if you want the consistent damage of the penetration but for me I just sometimes like to see those big damage crit those big crit damages. So um, stones battle eggs as it is then we have medium feet, medium guards, and medium hands, all in divines with prismatic enchant. You can see I'm running six divines, one reinforced. You don't need impenetrable trade when you have rallying cry. If you don't want to run rallying cry and you choose you know, clever alchemist or powerful assault. Um, you can of course swap some pieces for impen, but even even then I wouldn't use it because then uh, someone else will provide running cry buff, so impen will become quite useless. We are running five heavy, ah uh, no, five medium, one heavy, one light, and the mystic we are running is obviously ring of majesty, and infused with weapon damage. Yeah, that's about the sets coming to our skills. Uh, obviously the usually dizzy swing setup. So dizzy swing is the main spammable executioner stalking glass bones. Here we are not running the stamina morph because the magicka morph will provide us with more damage. It increases the damage of your blast bone the longer it charges or chases your target, but you already get 10% from the uh, from the spawning animation. So uh, the damage provided by stalking blast bones is just way way higher. Then we have Spirit Guardian just to increase our stamina magical recovery by 200% and giving us the 10% damage mitigation. Rally as a source of major brutality, a burst here and minor endurance for more stamina recovery. Um, yeah, you can with rally you don't have to wait until its end, so you can recast it even halfway through the duration, but you only get like 50% of the heal, right? So keep that in mind that you don't have to wait until it runs out. You can recast it and get a proportion of the heal. Ultimate Dawnbreaker of Smiting, just the AoE burst heal, uh, maybe burst damage with the stun. You can uh, use Pistil and Colossus in a group uh, for the source of major vulnerability and the AoE smashing. Uh, depending on you solo, obviously you run Dawnbreaker of Smiting. Back by Mortal Coil for another healing over time. Same as here, we have Vigor. Mortal Coil also gives 170 Magicka and Stammer every two seconds, and we do need the Magicka to sustain Stalking Blast Bones, Spirit Guardian, and our armor buff, Summoner's Armor. So, Mortal Coil is a must have in that case. Uh, elude. Source of major evasion, reducing our damage done from AoE attacks by 20%. Really strong, makes you hella tanky. Also, when you get hit by an AoE, you gain major expedition for 5 seconds, making you fast. And combining that with the medium armor sprint bonus and also the orc sprint bonus, you are quite fast with major expedition. Here is our flex spot. Yeah, um, you can either use Pierce Armor for major, major and minor breach, but single target, or you can use Razor Caltrops for AoE major breach, 
or for more tankiness you slot revealing flare which will give you major protection that's just up to you what skill you prefer uh, resolving vigor as i mentioned our healing over time summoner's armor as our armor buff also reducing the cost of blast bones and spirit mender defense with old is spell wall but if you like it more you can also go for revenue's goliath coming to champion points green ones just really quick gifted rider war mount rationer steed's blessing and the blue ones ironclad reducing all direct damage taken by six percent Focus Mending, increasing our healing by 10%. Exploiter, increasing our damage to enemies who are off balance for 10%. So when we use Dizzy we, uh, and damage someone who is off balance, we get the Stoons buff and we also get Exploiter. So our damage against off balance targets is already really, really high. And Master at Arms increasing all of our direct damage by another 6% and all of our damage is direct damage. So Master at Arms also must have. Red ones, Pains Refuge, no brainer, the more negative effects we have on us, the more tanky we get. Sustained by Suffering for another 150 magic and stamina recovery when we have a negative effect on us, so basically all the time. Survival Instincts when we have a status effect on us, reducing our core combat skills by 25%, which is blocking, dodging, break free, sprinting, all of those combat skills. Like not really your skills, like for example Dizzy, but more <coughs> uh, yeah, like blocking and stuff. Then I fortified for just 1700 armor, but you have some choices here. If you don't like this one, you can use Celerity for even more movement speed. You can use Relentlessness, giving you major protection when you got feared or stunned for 3 seconds. Or you can even use Juggernaut for 5% less damage while you are CC immune. Or you use Slippery for one free break free uh, every 21 seconds, also saves a lot of stamina. Yeah, that's about the build. So far, I have a lot of fun with Stamina Necro. Um, it's not the strongest class like it used to be, but it's still fun to play and a good, good addition to group since uh, it also provides high AoE burst.